This morning on Summer Spotlight, let's celebrate our local journalists. High school students at South Bend Community Schools just achieved a first in school history award for a topic very near and dear to my heart. From our studios to theirs, meet SBS TVs and WETL Radio 97.1. Well, now I'm in studio with the entire SBS class, or at least a few of my seniors. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so, well, first off, congratulations on being the broadcast station of the year for schools. I mean, for 2023, what does that mean for you seniors? It means a lot. Um, it's it's um, really gratifying to see all of our hard work pay off and something that we've been working on for years. And this is your guys' first time in history at Riley and for our other schools as well. What does that mean to be able to kind of bring that hardware back to South Bend? We never expected that. Like when we went in there and they were counting down, you know, who was going to be the top school. We were literally... Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, and we, we didn't think we were going to get it. But when they called our name, it was just we literally screamed as loud as we could. Like... I don't know. It just means so much because I don't. That's never happened before, and for it to happen to us, it just means a lot because we worked hard for that. <laughs> and this is all kind of head by Tim Richardson. He's my teacher over here. Tim, tell me a little bit about how these students can get involved, and it's not just Riley High School. That's right. We have students from we all from all four of the area high schools, and so it's a great opportunity for them to come spend half a day with us. So. Uh, first year students will come for mornings and second year students come in the afternoon. So uh, it gives them a lot of hands on experience. They can just uh, sign up, they can talk to their counselors and see if they qualify. They get dual college credits, they get opportunities to work out in the community covering stories like you're doing right now. Uh, and so it's just a, a really neat class, I think. And to be able to do this at school, I went to St. Joe High School and my system was nothing like this. To have the resources you have for not only TV, radio, podcasts, and photography, I mean, you guys, did you ever think you would have this in your high school experience? Um, I never thought about it until my counselor told me my sophomore year that I should join it because I told her that I like doing film, taking photos. And when she told me about it and I saw like the promotion for the class, I was like, I need to be there because like I saw everything that we do and I'm so glad that I joined. And I think it's important for everybody at home to note too, this is not just a this year program. You can join this at any time if you are affiliated with our high schools here with the South Bend Community School Corporation. So if you guys could recommend, why do you think other students should be a part of a program like this? This is a great head start for if you want to do anything in media, broadcast, radio, this is a great head start to let you know the type of things you need to use, um, how to be on radio and not get nervous. So it's just, there's so many things here that you can take advantage of when you wanna go to college, you'll be ahead of the game. And kind of delving into the things that you guys get into on a daily basis, what does coming into class look like? So it depends on what we're doing, because sometimes when we have a show, we normally come into class and then the anchors, um, like they change into their clothes and they come here, they sit down and then um, we have set the cameras, then we go in that room and then we monitor the cameras and then we edit. Matt normally does the editing for the shows. Um, but if we're doing packages, sometimes we have to like leave school to go somewhere to the, the place where they were covering the story on. Um, or sometimes we uh, don't really have anything to do, so we like mess around with the cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, and get to learn in different yeah. ways too. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to note as well, this isn't just a school program. This is engaging our students locally in our schools with the community. That's huge. And what do you guys think you've gained from that process, going out and getting to meet people too? We make connections and then um, when people see like uh, our stories of them highlighting, they expect to like keep up with us and I think it's a good way to like reach out to the community and for them to know more about us. All right, and from everybody here right now, can I see a show of hands? Who feels prepared going into college now from a class like this if you're hoping to do something media related? <laughs> hey, okay. I know Tim's like, yeah, thank yeah. goodness we got some hands raised. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you so much for letting me come over this morning. It's been so special to kind of swap studios with you guys today. <laughs> Well, back here in my home studio, I first again wanted to congratulate that whole student station and its staff on a major achievement. And if any parents or future students are at home wanting to get involved, just head to the story on ABC57.com. You can find that under the Summer Spotlight tab.